What is up, my little enthusiasts? Welcome back to another Day Gone Bad video today. Um, I do want to talk about this little topic about this brand new Merge Zamasu Series A, and I, I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. I, because I've been gone from, I've been gone, and since I came back from South America, obviously this event came up. I barely kept up about like the whole Zer Merge Zamasu Series A and stuff, and then when I finally got into it. I kind of realized this guy is just like, he's just very wonky still, and not the best, but he's still very good at the same time. He's definitely gonna hit me, he's hitting hard by the way, because of the fact that after he's easy, yeah, if you have him rainbow, he's hitting, he's at 18,000 attack, and he's gonna be hitting hard with the actual like bonus of an attack of 140%. Yeah, he hits hard, but definitely his defense is still very, very lacking, only at 10, He's only at 10,000. So, um, I don't know, man. Like, this EZA, like, I can't tell if this is, like, disappointing or is this, um, a good EZA. I think it's on a middle ground. Because I do want to, I, I did this little snort thing again. Why do I do that? <coughs> I, I, I always, people always, like, ask me, why do I do the type of snort? And I'm like, I don't know. I just do it on instinct. It's just kind of my thing. <laughs> God damn it. I hate doing that on video. It's like, every time I look through, I, I always hear it. Anyway, digress. Um, I said to you this easy A. I, I'm, I'm a little bit mixed about it. Um, definitely, like, we do know what the brand new, um, the trunks, I remember, uh, there is gonna be a trunks that's gonna be easy, eh? the one, the spear, the, the in spear sword, spears, bomb, swords, trunks, that's what I meant to say, um, he is gonna be a super class with a key three and HP and attack and defense of 100, 100%, just like this Merzal Monster since they both came out on the same, uh, year and the same time, as for like the holiday, um, the holiday, um, for the Christmas special for our summons. And I'm not too against that. Like his original was all right. This one, at least it'd be more viable and a little bit more, um, I want to say like a, a little, a little better. They're basically on par to what the tech trunk and the AGL Zamasu are like. Just the only difference is that there's a 20% difference between the two of them. So the fact that, like, if you have this one and you don't have the other one, then you have some alternate version of the Zamasu and also the trunks. But here's the thing where their EZA comes into this. I don't have no idea of what trunks could be. Trunks could be the, the probably the most similar thing. Maybe besides Realm of Gods, it could be? Um, a future category, maybe? Or it I uh, maybe Super Saiyan? I maybe it could be Super Saiyan. Who knows if they're gonna do what they're gonna do with that. But uh, essentially like what he gains from this is that he does increase uh he greatly lowers the defense. It's gonna be 50% for three turns, right? Yeah, 50% for three turns. And then he raises extreme class allies attack by 30% for one turn. That's really good, by the way. If you're running a, a full Goku Black team. This guy is very valuable. He's going to be, like, basically, like, able to help you out with raising, like, your Merge Zamasu, the AGL one, I mean. And then also maybe your Rosé. Rosé is going to be very powerful as well. And then also the, um, the physical Goku Black, which, again, he's actually a lot better on Global because Global has the better version. So that's a W, big W for the, um, for Global. But here's where the passive comes in, and I... It kind of sucks and it kind of makes you force like yeah i'm going to have to use a full goku black team so he gives himself attack and attack of 140 percent which is really good he again with 18,000 attack with that yeah he's going to be hitting hard but his defense he's a glass cannon and i hate glass cannon units it's, it's so dumb it's so stupid how they just give them like they could have like gave him like i don't know like a a defense increase of maybe 30 percent that would have hurt and and it would have like helped this ten thousand maybe just by a tiny bit at least it wouldn't make him so vulnerable but it is what it is um he gives um he does actually not gives super class allies attack minus 10 percent yeah, you do not want to run super class at all. 
route running this. So basically, they're going to be forcing you. Yeah, you're going to have to use all villain teams. Or if you do have a super class part of this, you're going to add him part of it. Like if you're going to do like Patara or the Future Saga or Realm of Gods or Time Travelers. Yeah, it's not a good idea to do uh, super class. You're going to have to do extreme classes or you're going to get you're going to lose that 10%. You're going to get a 10% reduction. The other thing that's actually pretty damn good that they added to this guy's passive is that uh, super class enemies do get attack and defense of minus 20%. Hold up. <coughs> oh, I had these weird coughs as I came back from Chile. But essentially, this unit um, on the start of turn, definitely like when he's on, when he's in the actual rotation. He immediately drops their attack and defense by 20%, which is very good. And this is the last good part kicker. It's that extreme class Realm of Gods category allies defense plus 50%. Um, I don't know. Hold up. Because if I go through this, if I go to Realm of Gods and we go through the leader, which is the Masu. Um, this guy, he definitely will be a lot more valuable, I guess, with him, Mer uh, because they do share the exact same link sets, but the, also the fact that he's actually been getting the, um, yeah, like, his defense is actually, it's gonna be helpful for this guy, like, the, the problem with this guy, I remember I was hyping this guy up a lot, but the problem with him now, I don't like him, is because he is a ga glass cannon. Just like dun da da da, his other counterparts. And the fact that like we can actually fix that uh, just a tiny bit because he's getting that 50%. Yeah, it's going to be very good. But at the same time, it's like, mm, especially when he's in this form, he's just like, yeah, he's, uh, he's again, like he hits hard, but he's a glass cannon. So definitely that whole. This whole 50% will definitely help out him. But I just to the point that it's like, you know, at least you can run ATL Zamasu again without being worried. As long as you have this guy on rotation, obviously. But the thing is, again, this guy's going to be getting hit hard because he is a glass skin. So it's like they, they did. They fixed this guy for giving him a partner that could fix his defense. But in the act, they kind of fucked this guy up. So it's just like, well, fuck. What's the point? I don't know. It's just, eh, it's so difficult to, uh, to say. But like, anyway, like, eleven thousand is better than ten thousand, I assume. And plus, you're getting the fifty percent. But I think the other thing that really annoys me about this EZA is that um, it is definitely the uh, the weakness is the worthy rival. And what I really hate about the Worthy, worthy Rival is that right now, officially, the only uh, category lead we have is Piccolo. Like, yes, there is the uh, there is the uh, Vegeta Blue, but that's only on Global at the moment. Us people who play JP, we only have this option. And I, I have this Vegeta, too. I have him ready to be rainbowed on my JP account. But he does not have his awakening, so his, he's kind of just shit at the point at, at this moment because his pre-awakening sucks. <coughs> his pre-awakening just sucks balls. So at this point, like obviously you would need Piccolo. Well, I don't have Piccolo. I'm one of those suckers who did summon on his initial banner because his initial banner sucked on JP, and then when he did came back. I'm, I'm like saying this, screw this, screw Android 13. I'm not spending uh, money on him because Android 13 um, just kind of sucks too. And also, worthy rivals. Uh, you can't use the Piccolos. You don't want to use Yamcha for certain. You don't want to use Yamcha. Uh, only ones you can really use are basically the Vegeta, maybe the Pycon if you really cared. Um, the Beerus and maybe the base form Vegeta, but I found it really easily if you just go, just use this guy as your leader for the Vegeta family, and you just grab people, grab all the Vegetas you can, grab every single Vegeta that's in the uh, um, 
what do you call it? That's in the actual worthy category, worthy rivals category because you can literally just rock these two Vegetas on here. This is what I do. You can rock these two Vegetas, the brand new uh, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta that transferred into Majin Vegeta, and then you could um, you could run um, STR Vegeta, um, God Vegeta, Red Vegeta, whatever you want to call it. I'm so out of it. I'm so sorry. But also, um. What else did I rock beforehand? Did I? Is that all? I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done the EZA. But essentially, you could. I mean, no, you wouldn't want to rock anybody who's an AGL because the, the deep. But, like, that's essentially what I've been doing. Um, I don't really recommend. Um. Like, if you're going to go for the. Uh, if you're going to go for this EZA, hopefully you have the Vegeta lead. Uh, like, some sort of Vegeta lead. Like,. If you don't have this Vegeta, obviously because he's an LR, you have other options as well. You have the Majin Vegeta, who's going to get his EZA very soon. Uh, you also have the physical uh, base form scouter Vegeta, which is really good. You also have the v Super Vegeta, who tr who's, uh, swaps into uh, the Trunks. And then you have these two Vegetas as well. The 8-bit one, and then this is the Heroes one, right? Yeah, this is the... Uh, no, what? I did not click that. Oh, oh, nope, nope, no, nope, go back. Yeah, this is the heroes one, right? Yeah. So if you have any of these units, definitely they're going to be helping you out a lot, but not to the not to the point that like probably what the worthy rivals can do. But what it is what it is. You got you your better options to run Vegeta's because basically worthy rivals it is a Vegeta category team essentially. <laughs> yes, you guys can see. But uh, yeah. Um, and there's a lot of things I don't like about this EZ, and there's a lot of things I do like. I, he's definitely a good fix for this Merge Zamasu, but at the same time, they kind of fuck this guy over because he's only still only getting 10,000. Again, if like if there's somehow because of the calculations, if somehow he got 11,000, it would have been a lot better. And he also gave himself like some type of defense boost, like he's doing to give this guy. Yeah, it would have been a lot better, but uh. It is. It is what it is. I, I I can't say any more than that. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did hit that, if you did hit that like button and also hit that subscribe. Oh wow, I'm just like pulling up my YouTube stuff. <laughs> I should have done that. But anyway, if, if you did hit that like button, also hit that subscribe button as well for more daily content. We're gonna be doing daily content until the end of the year as much as I can. I do feel confident about all of this. I do really want to grow something off of this. Obviously, like, I'm still a beginner, so who knows? I might be fucked in the future. I don't care. I just want to do this for fun. But other than that, hope you guys have yourself a goddamn good one. And i see you guys next time on the next video, all right? And the next video is going to be a big doozy. I'll say that much. Anyway, see you guys later.